Hey, my beautiful angel, it's Josie Grouse, and welcome to Soul Awakening Channel. So many people ask me this question, Josie, how do you know if you talk to an angel or maybe there's some dark energy or demon pretending to be an angel and they're confusing you, they're leading you astray. So let me share with you how I know, how I do know that I speak with angels, that I communicate with legit angels. Now this is work in progress. I have made my mistakes. I have done things in the past and I learned the hard way. So I know that angels aren't just what we think they are. There is a deeper understanding of angels. So I wanted to share with you quickly what I know. So it helps you also to know. It helps you to be better, to choose your connections wisely. So who are angels? Angels, it's, it's a word that describes a being, right? So it's not just like we're human and there's some other being with a look, white robe and, and feathers and they're called angels. No, angels are, as a general term, it's actually a job description. They are beings or they're not physical. They don't have physical body. They don't have a nervous system. They don't have any physicality, but they exist. We don't see them. They aren't just walking around in the physical form. So we have to trust that these beings are there and they are invisible. And the only way for us to communicate with them, to connect with them, is to know how we feel. So an angel is a being who is not physical, but they exist. And who? what's the demon? Let's talk about the dark angels. So let me just quickly draw you something. So this is our time reality, right? This is our time and space. This is the linear time as we perceive it. This is the birth, this is death, this is past, and this is future. So this is what we call our physical reality. And angels aren't in this dimension, okay? They are not physical. So they exist outside of time and space in some kind of, you know, a vertical dimension of frequencies. So they're angels who are dwelling on the lower frequency and they're angels who are dwelling on a really, really high frequency. So... An angel, if you look at names of angels, specifically those who we call angels, right? Michael or Raphael. Raphael means God who heals, right? Who, who's doing the healing anyways? Well, it's God. Angels don't heal. Angels don't do specific actions on their own account. It's just something that God does. Pause. Pause for a second and think about it. So in our awareness, in our understanding, somewhere here, there is a level what of what or who we call God, right? This is our human understanding. This is the only level that we can get to as high as possible, as high as we can to know God. But this is definitely, that's not the God, but this is our awareness. Up here, we begin to be aware. Yeah, there is God. There must be some creative force, some creative power, the energy that creates everything. We become aware of this energy somewhere up here. And what angels are helping us to do, they're helping us. To, uh, to be aware of certain things that happen energetically. Say, God who heals. There's a creative power that is responsible for healing. God is my light. Archangel Uriel, Gabriel, the strength. And most importantly, Michael. Michael is the one who is like God. Now, there's a very deep mystical secret 
about Archangel Michael. And I'll talk to you about this secret in another video, so stay tuned. But what you need to understand that angels exist in our world somewhere here, right? So we become more and more aware of them. It's God who heals, right? God who builds strength, God who gives light. So we are more and more aware of these actions. The higher we go in our awareness of God, then we begin to communicate with these beings who are responsible for that particular frequency of healing, of light, of strength, and, and so on. So who are the demons? As you can see, there's not a line of demarcation that says, oh, okay, so angels are these light beings, and then demons are, are someone else. <laughs> They're just someone that we cannot see or we don't have any access to. Just like if we have access to angels, there's also negative side to a positive side. We can agree on that. So at some point, at some point, energetic point, we begin to perceive these beings as something other than what we call angels. And that's at this point, we begin to talk about these negative forces. It's, there is no negative or positive, but it's our awareness of them that makes us think that, okay, I don't feel good. Some energy is connecting with me. And let's say it's not a pleasant one. Something is, is disturbing to me. Or we can see, we can look at, let's say, negative news. And we begin to think there are some other world of negativity that descends upon earth when you are here this is it this is the reality the way you go up or the way you go down if you don't feel well if you experience anger there's a lot of criticism self-blame that means that what we are experiencing is some kind of a lower frequencies and at these lower frequencies somehow now we call them demons okay or some dark forces that operate on these frequencies okay here raphael healing here some other entity that we don't name but we know that at this level we experience a negative emotion or negative experience something that that happens and we say i don't like it so um when we communicate with angels right the way we know the entity that you're talking to is purely by your awareness of energy. It's all about energy. The name of the game is always energy. How do you know if you talk to an angel or being you're getting closer to God? is when you talk to them and you get and you still keep your energy you don't lose your energy you actually get quite peaceful you get really positive emotions from interacting with angels some healing light all right god is god is light archangel uriel will make you feel more centered more peaceful more connected to god and that makes you feel good it makes you feel soulful you begin to at this point here you see beauty the world is just this one magical place it's extraordinary you have helpful people showing up things are working out for you but if you begin to lose energy so at this level down in, into these lower frequencies you begin to lose energy or you begin to experience in this moment or shortly after some negative after effects let's say you talk to an angel or something that presents itself to you as an angel but then you feel all of a sudden some some form of negativity or you you know or, or judgment 
criticism, anger rising you, or you feel hopeless after, you know, this interaction with the other side. The best way for you in this moment when you're experiencing loss of energy is to pause and say, who is this? What is going on? Who am I connecting with? And take your power. This is the moment of snapping out of this connection and start building yourself back up. In sacred teachings, there are, especially when you work with angels, the secret of Archangel Michael in on the higher dimensions, in explained in the most simplest language. And the simplest language is this. There's two doors. There are two paths. One is a path of judgment. And one is the path of mercy. So if you want to start moving up to higher vibrations, to higher angels, you choose the path of mercy. If the path that leads you down to meet lower frequency energies, emotions, what you call demons, they're all about traveling the path of judgment. Remember that. Mercy or judgment. There will be in every opportunity a choice for you to which way you want to go. If you're traveling the path of judgment, that will draw, drop the frequency. It will take you down this path. It's, it's a formula. Mercy is an event where you can turn around and start moving up. The non-judgment is the first step that you are tuning in with higher frequencies, with those who we call angels, right? The one who is like God. And if we can say that God is the merciful God that we want to, you know, connect to, it's the highest expression of creative energy, our life force. So we, in our awareness, begin to move out of the states of judgment. And losing energy shows you that you are in that in this path of judgment. Something is being judged at this moment. Something is being now is there is a disconnection, not connection. There's no connection with the energy of angels. And now you are moving in the opposite direction. So at any point in your life, just simply know if you're losing energy, whoever you're communicating with, whatever is going on in your world, you can always be aware of this energy leads me to judgment or this is leading me to mercy in every situation. You have a choice. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> of something that happened uh, recently to me. I was driving on a highway and it was a busy, busy day and there was a lot of cars and um, I'm a slow driver. So I'm just, you know, in the, this right lane heading towards the exit. And then there's this car just out of the blue, just cuts in front of me and then cuts back into the other lane and then just smacks me on my on my left side, smacks my car, bam, and smacks into my left side, pulls back out, and then I'm just my car just went out almost like you know out of control for a moment, and I I pull over and I'm scared and I'm shivering, and then the guy who hit me just also was on the other side also pulled over behind. And I'm sitting in the car. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Because I, I mean, here I, have, I was driving, you know, minding my own business. But here is when these things happen. I know I'm in this place in my life when I know that these things happen for a reason. I know that I'm protected. Even though I'm on the inside, I'm like that. So the young man who hit my car gets out of the vehicle comes out running to me and then knocking on, on, on my window on my um my window and they're just screaming are you okay are you okay are you okay and i say nothing i'm just i'm in shock i can't say anything and um then i just you know i i compose myself i open the door i come out and i face him face to face and i look at him 
he's so troubled. He doesn't even know what's going on in his life. And then the first thought, you know, of course, you know, it wasn't my fault. And I have all the right to give him hell and to give him, you know, all of the, the time of my, just tell him how angry I was for what happened. But in these moments, I kind of like, I, I see a bigger reality and what will come out of that. And I just say nothing. And I like, are you okay? I'm okay. Well, are, are you okay? And then he starts crying. And here he is, this grown up man in the middle of the highway, just crying. I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. And he just, he loses his composure and he just cries out, please forgive me. So in, in, when this happened, there is a clear path for me to take a path of anger and judgment and, and worry or take a path of mercy. And I saw in him, there's like so much pain and maybe I saved his life or whatever happened. My guys were like, help this dude, save him. And he wasn't, he didn't know that. I didn't know that. But anyways, so here I am hugging this man who hid my car and I, I'm there in the middle of the highway and cars just passes by. Here we are, we're hugging. And um, <laughs> so I came, uh, I came back home and my family's like, did you get his number? You know, you should, you know, file for insurance and everything else. I'm like, no, I didn't. And for, for different reasons, that was some, some assurance in me. My car was okay. It wasn't damaged or anything. But anyways, this is an example that it happened recently with, with how in every situation, whatever happens, there is a greater path of mercy and there is a path of judgment. So easy to go down the path of judgment. But every situation that comes your way is, is kind of a test when the universe tests you where you want to go. You want to go up here? And when I started to think, well, it's possible because his driving was reckless. Maybe he could have died or he could have killed himself, you know, on the road somewhere. And this incident stopped everything. And I was somehow involved. But who am I to say, like, spare me because I'm too good. I'm, I'm too angelic. You know, let me just have good experiences in life. Sometimes the universe wants you to help someone else. And... When you take a path of mercy and in your heart, you just see things differently. You see a human being, you see the human behavior and the imperfections and things that people do and say, it's not about you and it's never about to, to hurt you. And they're hurting on the inside. If you can master the strength and courage to think things differently, you are now going to access the domain of mercy. And here you have around you more harmonious beings the people those who are working with our planet from a higher frequency and it's it's a very it's it, there's not a lot of beings who we can talk to very actually few angels who we call upon and they're the archangels they're beings way above that and there's no way that we will ever know them these angels the saints who are able to see into higher dimensions we cannot do that we just have to work with the earth and what is available to us as human beings when we communicate with angels but here is your clue if you lose energy that's not an angel if you feel just, if your energy drops or you feel emotionally drained, that's a sign this is not an angel. If you have sort of traveled a path of judgment, you also know where it's going. It's not going to be leading you towards the higher beings. It's always going to lead you to lower frequencies. The way out of this, the way out of the lower frequency and then moving towards the high frequency is through non-judgment is through this path of mercy and that's how you know and i encourage you by the way for those of you who are interested in angels i see that you have some some personal involvement with angels 
work with them every day uh, as if they they can you know enrich your life that your life is better with angels it's like you say hello to your loved ones say hello to angels when you see something beautiful say thank you just engage be engaged with angels more often and by knowing that by having by developing this relationship with angels you can see clearly you know some of us we call upon angels in moments of struggle if we're not well or things are not well then we we see who we can call upon i ask you from my own experience to know that they are angels and you can talk to them every day say hello engage with them notice them say invocations say prayers just acknowledge them call upon archangel michael do these things daily and you know how angels will feel like because you will constantly dwell in his domain you will constantly dwell where angels are okay if you forget or you don't speak with angels you are just you are not there anymore you'll have to hit this level again to remember about angels because energetically your body your mind is telling you i don't like what's going on this is not angels but if you hear all the time if you communicate with angels if you act like angels towards yourself to other people without judgment through this window of mercy you're going to have an extraordinary life this is the life that's filled with miracles this is the life that has uh the support of the whole universe life is on your side and when angels are with you that's that's incredible that's all i can tell i can speak for myself by the way you guys this is my own experience that's something that i have experienced myself and i can only share with you what i know to be true